Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Julie from Living Large on Lifetime and today it's time for the Wednesday Weekly. Super excited because this is a topic I am very passionate about, the weekend. Oh yes, I go in weekend mode every single weekend. You probably do too. Why is it that we can't just treat the weekend like every other day of the week? I'll tell you why. It's because our schedules are different. Maybe they're more demanding if we work on the weekends and not during the week. Maybe we're more relaxed and get to sleep in. Maybe our schedules are just all discombobulated and we don't know what we're doing from one weekend to the next. But I guarantee you, your weekends are probably always different in structure than your weekdays and this is what throws us off so this today's topic is called love your weekends so how's your weekend looking whether it's fully booked or laid back you probably won't eat the same way on Saturday than you do on say Tuesday mm-hmm that's right so Friday through Saturday is actually a great time to add flexibility to your routine so you can build habits that work for your life. Rather than looking at it as an obstacle and a challenge that we have to overcome, look at the weekend as a way to add flexibility and practice making Weight Watchers WW your lifestyle. Not a diet that you follow Monday through Friday, but your actual lifestyle. Find a way to make it work with your weekend lifestyle. So here are some options for what you can do to make the weekends work. Number one, max your options. Okay, so number one, use your rollovers. So every single day you have an opportunity to bank four rollovers, up to 24 rollovers per week. Now those get added into your weeklies. So if I say, say I get 28 weeklies per week and then I earn an additional 24 rollovers, that's 52 extra points that I could use for a weekend if I'm having some sort of extra occasion or special occasion or extra piece of cake or pizza or whatever. 52 extra points per week that I can use if I save them and budget them for the weekends. So use your rollovers to have more to spend on the weekends. Number two, lean on zero point foods. Now what does that mean? We should never be living in the zero point world, which means on a day-to-day -day basis, don't just limit yourself to zero point foods because that is a diet and that will get super old super quick you'll go off the program and you'll say ww did not work for me what this means is on the day of your event or on the weekends if you got a special occasion coming up on that day try to utilize more of your zero point foods throughout the day and save the points for the occasion whatever it is if you you have a birthday party to go to try to eat throughout the day more zero points foods so you can use the bulk of your daily points on that piece of birthday cake. So use your zero point foods throughout the day. Pack a few snacks if you're out and about and then that way you can save those daily smart points, weekly rollover smart points for a special dinner or whatever else you have going on. Number three, browse restaurants in the Weight Watchers app to locate options that fit your budget. We all probably go out more on the weekends than we do during the week. I go out all the time. But my best advice for going out is to pre-plan, pre-plan, pre-plan. So this suggestion is to tap browse restaurants in the WW app. And when you do that, it'll pull up all of the national uh, chain restaurants that you can search. You can either search by the number of smart points that you want to spend or you can search by the name of the restaurant. So utilize your WW app and try to figure out and decide what you're gonna have ahead of time so when you get to the restaurant, you're not in sticker shock and you don't have a very difficult time deciding between the super high cal Alfredo pasta or the salmon, <laughs> the salmon salad. Um, try to make your decision before you go to the restaurant. Another option is to actually look up the restaurant online. If you cannot find the restaurant in the app, um, a lot of restaurants will have their menu online as well. So you can go to the menu, try to find a couple of options that look like they might fit within your points budget, and then just calculate them as best you can if they're not in the app. But definitely try to pre-plan your restaurant meal before you go. Um, number four, find tips on how to navigate menus on your WW app 
and at www.com. So navigating menus, you're going to want to choose, I like to go with just a basic protein and steamed vegetables or a protein and a baked potato. Those are some things that are pretty easy to calculate points wise, um, but you want to stay away from maybe sauces, fried foods, um, anything that has an oil base sauce or mayonnaise. Um, stay away from the obvious. I think we've all done this long enough. We know what to look for when we go out to eat. So um, some other suggestions are for the weekend, not for going out to eat. Some other suggestions for making the weekend work for you. Use substitutions. If you have a party to go to and you want to make something or enjoy something fabulous, find a substitution for that. I had a friend who made a substitute dip for her party. So rather than indulging in say a high point artichoke spinach dip, she made some dip with a non-fat Greek yogurt. It was fabulous. Her guests loved it even. So try a substitution item if you want pizza because it's the weekend. There are so many ways that you can make pizza yourself that are going to be super low points versus going out and eating pizza. Um, at a restaurant. So try to find some st substitutions for what it is you're trying or wanting or craving. And then also, as I mentioned, if you're going to a party or you're going to a potluck or you're going to a friend's house for whatever reason, bring something that you know you can eat. Bring something that you know is points friendly. Bring a fruit tray, uh, vegetables, um, bring a low, low fat dip with non-fat Greek yogurt, uh, brings uh, turkey meatball appetizers, there's, I mean, uh, salads, there's unlimited number of things you can bring depending on the occasion. Even a ton of desserts that you can make that are WW friendly. Just look at your WW app and look at some of the recipes. Some of the recipes are amazing and they're super low in points, very points friendly. You will like them, you'll be able to eat them, and your guests will like them also. So the last thing that WW recommends for this week in the weekly is to really plan your weekend that's coming up. I know it's only Wednesday, but try to plan the weekend that's coming up using the four W's. Who, what, where, and when. So number one, let's start with what. Number one, what are you gonna do this weekend? Number two, where are you gonna do it? Number three, when are you going to do that? And number four, who are you going to do it with? So if you can map out those four questions, who, what, where, when, who, what, where, and when, then you can start to plan what you're going to eat. If you know what you're doing, then plan what you're eating, okay? So for example, I know that on Sunday afternoon, I have to work, I'm gonna work. Um, I will need to eat after work. It's an afternoon uh, workshop, so I will be done by about 3.15. I'm going to go have my salmon salad after that. Um, with who? Myself. Where? At Shakers. When? At 3.30. What? My salmon salad. Okay, so just try to really pre-plan, think ahead of time rather than just letting the weekend happen and reacting to it. Think ahead of time and plan your weekend so that you can enjoy the weekend and enjoy your splurges if that's what you decide to do. Use your weeklies and your rollovers. You can even use your fit points on the weekends if you need to, but just plan ahead and you can make any of it work for you. So there's a space down here on the bottom of the weekly where you can write down your four W's for this weekend and I absolutely recommend that you do that because that's the first step in knowing how to plan your weekend is what's going on. What are you gonna do? Then figure out what you're gonna eat. So the back of the weekly has a recipe. It is spaghetti squash pomodoro. Looks awesome. I love spaghetti squash. I usually make it with chicken and fire roasted tomatoes. So similar, this seems like more of like a side dish. I would actually probably add chicken to this. Um, so those of you who are on the recipe challenge, you'll see that I added this to the very tail end of our recipe challenge so we can all try and make this recipe. Add chicken, don't add chicken. Um, I love spaghetti squash, so I think it's going to be fabulous. So that is our topic for this week, the weekends. I love the weekends because obviously the title of my channel, Live in Large on Lifetime. I love to make the most 
most of every activity, every weekend, every meal. I really try to milk it all for the most bang for my WW buck. Okay, so if you have any questions on how you can overcome the weekend, if you have any specific challenges coming up this weekend and you'd like some help, let me know down below. I'd be happy to help brainstorm with you and we can do this. We are in this together. Thanks so much for watching you guys and I'll see you next Wednesday for another Wednesday Weekly. Bye.